Yo guys, what's going on? It's Burt Crown coming out of the YouTube video and today we're gonna look at some gameplay We got Brian over from Twitch. Thank you, Brian for sending me your gameplay We're gonna take a look at it and uh, see if we can help you out at all See if uh, there's anything I noticed that I pick up and I'm just gonna talk about it throughout the game And then maybe some plays that popped up that maybe I would have done just a slightly different way But let's get into it guys. I hope you do enjoy it Thank Brian down in the comment section for sending us the gameplay and if anybody wants to send me some gameplay hit me up I'd love to look at it and see what we can do, but let's have some fun. Okay, so here we go. We got some D4 beauties right here. Brian coming in with a nice record, 177 and 133. Not bad. Let's see what he's got. So what we're going to see here off this faceoff is we're going to see him win it back to his defenseman. Now he could go up to the boards and try to play it up the boards and cut across and get a shot off that way. But what's mostly going to happen is this defender is going to choke him off. You're going to have to curl around or you're going to have to navigate a better play to try to make something happen out of that. What he could do when he does take this defender closer to the boards to make the player think he's gonna go up the boards is instead bring a curl around back towards center ice. Because this is gonna open up one of the most common plays in the higher division hockey is utilizing what the defensemen do. Because when you win this face off, what's gonna happen is your center is gonna naturally go forward. And when your center goes forward for whatever reason in this game, it takes these defensemen and splits them out to the boards. They, they play the boards. It's just how they play. When this happens, that is going to essentially open up this middle lane. All this space in here for your centerman to skate in on a breakaway, do a little forehand, backhand, and put the puck in the net. It opens up an easy way to attack the net, and it's one of the best ways to get your player a breakaway right off the faceoff. So we're going to go watch this play, see how it unfolds. But when he goes up the boards, what's going to happen? So this play unfolds, he goes up the boards, he comes in, and he's going to be cutting across. I would be feeding it to number 25 here, and number 25 splits the defenseman, and when he splits the defenseman, you pull it to the backhand, you put it in the lower left corner. Easy goal, easy tuck, I like it. We're going to curl around though, and we're going to get scattered. This is where the game can get kind of uh, scrambled, and players are always just throwing it around and waiting for something to happen. And, you know, as we see here, yeah. He's definitely throwing it around chaotically, and it doesn't look like he's got anything kind of in mind, but it's getting good shots off, and this is how some stuff goes in. But without kind of a, a plan on what you're trying to achieve, maybe he's got something in mind here, but without like a plan on how you're going to space yourself out and get a gap, you, you're you going to find it harder as you get higher and higher, and as you get higher and higher in divisions to get goals. This guy's also just rifling the puck on net, hoping for something. And that was a nice pickup right there. Quick little pass, but uh, unfortunately didn't get through. That happens. And then we're going to curl around with Chelios, making space and time. That's, uh, that's a good move right there. That's how you create space and time. And he's just going to come through the corner, curl around. That is a nice shot opportunity there. That, that, that goes in. That goes in. You just maybe have to get that uh, aiming stick just a little bit higher. You should have pushed him there on that blue line. Letting him walk in like that, that's dangerous, and that gives free opportunities. He needed to uh, he needed to push him on that blue line to stop this from happening. So he's cycling around. He's trying to throw it on net. You pick it up there. Not bad at all. This here is a nice pickup. Now what I would do here is you, you can see the defenseman stop and get ready to hit you. I'm curling around him there and waiting for number nine to catch up so I can get him a one tee. You throw the pass over early and throw a shot out. That's that's fine. That's a good method. But uh, I would have curled in waiting for that one timer to show up. That would have been a, that would have been a really good goal there. Now he's gonna get the puck. He's gonna come up. And you're going to push him at the line. I'm really hoping you push him at the line here. This is what we need to see. Big push at the line. Don't give him anything. So here he comes into the play. And we give him the zone. We give him the zone. Like You, you don't want to give anything you don't have to. And when you're getting a clean come in like that, you, you want to push that line and get on him. So we're going to give the puck up here to 11, which is Koivu. Koivu's got a nice little deke around there, man. Nice little deke around indeed. Good shot opportunity. Eichel's going to throw it to the wing, and right here, I'm starting to wonder if you have auto backskate on. Because right here, you look like you have auto backskate on, and you just give him the zone again. If you didn't have auto backskate on, or if you weren't skating backwards there, you could have pinched him off on the board and stopped that scoring chance from happening. But you know, all around, good, uh, good first period. Let's see what the second period has to offer. And uh, go from there. So the goalie's going <laughs> to... That was a risky pass by his goalie there. Arnett's going to step in and look at that. Beautiful. You did a good job at putting pressure on him coming across the blue line. You didn't give him free zone. 
and you got the puck back because of it. So just maybe a little bit more aggressive on your defense in the neutral zone, not allowing them to get in. And then you're creating good space here. Getting the puck to Arnett was good, and Arnett just broke free off him there. But you're you're cycling the puck very well. It's just it looks like hectic cycling. Like right here, I would have went to your other defenseman there, but that works. Arnett gets a very good goal out of it, and it uh, it almost goes in, but it does. It looks like you're you're cycling off of hectic. Now you're gonna throw this back to your defenseman here. I would have went to circle because circle is wide open here, and he cuts out the middle of the net like that. That would have been a good shot there if you had have uh, went to your winger there, Kachuk. So you're going to keep cycling it around. We're going to cut. <sighs> that was almost a good chance. Big rebound there. He's going to get the puck. And Kachuk is also going to cut in. Nice shot. See, I like that cut in. You were patient there. That was nice. And, uh, yeah, I, man, I really, off this gameplay, there's a couple of things I can see you tweaking. And uh, essentially your defense and maybe less chaotic working on what things you want to do. But off of what I'm seeing here, man, you, you're definitely should be up in Division Three. You're just struggling with a couple of things. And here's one of them. He's going to get the puck. And that was a nice poke. Nice poke right there. So you're going to get in here. What you're going to do is go forehand there. With your momentum all going that way, I might have tried backhand to try to get a puck around the goalie or circle the net. He's going to come in. Big move by him there, putting him offside. So that's, that's fine. You're going to win the faceoff, throw it up the middle. Nice throw up the middle. I like that. Nice passing. I would have went deeper there. I definitely would have went deeper there before my curled around. That way all my defensemen had a chance to set and my forwards committed deeper. But it's okay. Big takeaway there. And with your one defenseman there pushing up, how you backed off with your only defenseman back, that was a good back off. And that was a beautiful goal. That was textbook right there. Coming in across the wing. Nice, easy shot. The biggest thing I'm seeing right now is you need to be more aggressive at your blue line and you need to attack a little more. Like your offense is a lot of uh, passing around with, without sort of direction and attack. You, you've got some players in situations where they could attack. So I think if you attacked more than, than more passing around, like if, if you drove the net from time to time, like right here, you're backing into the crowd. If you had have went down to the corner and maybe forced a pass, or just drove the net, you might have had a different outcome there. And then here, Chelios, you're doing a good job of boxing him out, but it looks like you're 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 getting caught watching here. That's what that's what it looks like there. You got caught watching and you gave him a good opportunity. That's why you were clashing your guys together. I've done it. That's why I know what it looks like, and uh it, it happens to the best of us. Good little board play here, but <sighs> quicker passes, maybe, maybe quicker passes as well. You should have you should pinch him more off right there. Giving him a good opportunity. That could have been a could have been a big goal. McCarr, now I'm just gonna pass that across. I'm forcing that across there. I'm gonna be patient, cut down to the goal line and pass it across for the one T. And that was a nice shot. But what's he gonna do with his McCarr? He's gonna pass it up to the middle. And good step up there. See, that's a great step up. You need to incorporate that more. The two times you've stepped up on the blue line, you've taken the puck back down to the other end and you haven't given them anything. Like right here, you didn't step up on that defender. And you gave him a good opportunity. So maybe maybe try stepping up on the opponent a little bit more. He's getting he's getting some good heat, but that happens. You you retrieve the puck very well. Quicker on that pass. That that's what you intended there was that pass up to the centerman. So I seen that just maybe a little quicker. He wins the face off here, and he comes into the zone. You don't really pinch and you should have pushed him there. Nice pick up, and you're gonna pass it to McDavid. He look how far he backs off. You could have cut the middle. But either way, it worked out. He backed off. If he had to pinch that blue line, he could have choked you off from doing that. It's still a one nothing game. Very well played, man. Very well played. Some good gameplay out of Brian right there. There was a lot of good plays. But yeah, I, I would say maybe a little more aggressive on the blue line. You keep backing off and just letting uh, letting the opponent get into your zone. And that, that can be scary sometimes. That gives up big chances. And if you just step up on that blue line, that stop that from happening. Your defense is good but why even let them in at all? Thank you, Brian, for sending in this video. I did enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps, and I hope this gets you to Division Three. If you want to send me another one, Brian, go right ahead. If anyone else wants to send me one, hit me up. But until next time, guys, ciao, ciao.